Logan, yeah, thanks. High waters has rescuers on high alert. And with river levels getting so high that closures have to be made to riverfront trails, now is the perfect time to talk about river safety. It's crazy. So I've lived here 12 years now, and I've never seen the river this high. Just amazed at how high the water is, really. Water on the Colorado River is high. So high, in fact, parts of the riverfront trail had to be closed. I, mean, I knew it was rising, but I mean, to cut off the trail in several spots is pretty impressive. Conditions have some boaters licking their chops. Initially, I, I think fun. But I also, you have to be aware of what you're getting into. Now, the Mesa County Sheriff's Office said 14 people had to be rescued from the river this weekend. It goes without saying, when you see water levels like this, you need to exercise precaution. With high water comes a lot of hazards. We want people to be aware of those hazards before they make the decision to recreate on the river this year. The Mesa County Sheriff's Office says hazards like logs and trees, if you're not using proper equipment, debris can potentially pop it. And even if cold water on a hot day sounds refreshing, the water that we're seeing in the river is snowmelt, and it's very, very cold, and hypothermia is a real risk. But most importantly, if you're planning on hitting the water, this is not the year to skip a life vest. If you go onto the river without wearing a life vest, you are putting your life at risk. Life jackets can be used for free at some boat ramps. Ultimately, though, when it comes to water safety, if you don't feel comfortable. People, if they don't know what they're doing, they shouldn't be on the river. I hate to say it, about this time of year when it's like this, um, just wait until the river goes down, unless you have the gear to properly get out there and deal with the current. Also important to note, along the river, erosion can be happening, and that is another reason some trails are being closed. So you really need to be cautious, especially when you see those trail closed signs. For